In this video, I'll show one of the new features we've added in the Figaro for DevOps tool to make it easier for you to manage your SAP CPI landscape. So one of the, the challenges that you have is you have this uh, iFlow that you want to copy to multiple organizational units. It could be that you have an iFlow that is for your cost centers. And for each of these cost centers, this needs to be replicated in each business unit or company. And that means that they need to change some of the parameters and run them multiple times. Um, and the challenge is that if the master iFlow is changed, you want to update all the, the child iFlow so they all configure the same. Um, there are different uh, externalization parameters that you need to use for each of these different iFlows. Um, so the idea is that you'd have like a master iFlow and then you'll create a distribution config in the FIAF tool that will then make sure you create the, the different instances of the iFlow. Uh, if you make updates to it, it will also enable you to easily update the two iFlows um, so they're all in sync. And once you're done with it, once you transport it, you can transport the original iFlow, create a new distribution config and update the the iFlow because there will be a difference between the, the values up here and the values here. So here you will have a different host, uh, stuff like that. Um, and that's what's supporting these things. So let me show you how this works. So here we have the the FIAF tool and here we have this cost center we can select here. We'll then create new distribution config. And in this, we can see the different configuration parameters for this process. We will then add two new target iFlows. Okay. So we can have both uh, the, the technical and a display name that may be different if we wanted to. Uh, we can then go in here and specify which of the, the values we need to take and which of them we can take from the, the original system. So we'll do these things. And now we've created it and we can see here in our configuration that they do not exist. And that's obviously a problem because we want them to. So we click update iFlows and then this should then do a synchronization, figure out what is actually there then it will try to create all the different iFlows that we have and now it will synchronize all of these information so we've got everything about what was going on here. So now it's completed. We can then say close. We can see all of these values exist and they've been changed by the ERT system. So if we go back to our cost center here, we can see we have now created these different values and if we check the configuration, we can see that they have been applied as we wanted them to. If the, the challenge is obviously what happens if you make modifications to these. So we'll just make a small modification here. We can say this is now version 7. And we'll in the GAF tool, we will synchronize. And it, it is able to synchronize like on a batch job. Um, that it will just synchronize all the different iFlows that you have. Um, and if there's any differences or anything like that, it will see, hey, there's actually something that has been changed here. So we can go back here to our iFlow. We can check the distribution configuration we can see here. And it says here there's actually some of these uh, source iFlows that are different. Um, so what we have, so we have here this up to date button, and we can actually just say, so if we click at our package now, what we'll see is we have one in number seven and two in number zero six. So if we just update all the iFlow, we would expect that these will then be updated to um, seven, zero seven. So now we can see it's all updated and we have managed these things. So this is all good if you're looking just at one system. If you then want to take this this iFlow and you want to transport it, so you can take take the iFlow and you can transport it with the FIGAP tool. So let's just assign this to a ticket. We can specify which landscape we want. We'll have our CPI landscape. We can specify why we are making this, the, the external reasons for it. 
So now we have our transport. In here we've added the package. We've also added the distribution config. This is a figav property. We can start our transport. And notice we're only transporting the master iFlow and not all the child up iFlow. We could obviously also transport those, but I think it makes sense just to transport the, the, the main part of this. So now we can specify what needs to be done here and we can see on the QA system, we configuring the host QA demo instead of dev at figaf.com. So this is good. And what we can then do is we can send it to approval. I'm also able to approve it here. Uh, otherwise, it'll be some other guy that needed to approve it. We can import this. And then once it's imported, it will then be possible to, to run these uh, configurations. So let's check. So now we can see it's imported on the QA system. It's actually just a virtual system. And what we can then do is we can create a new distribution config on the QA system. And here we can add our, we can probably add three, uh, three landscapes that we would configure differently. So now we can see we have created these, these same countries or company codes for all the different versions. We can change them and we can then just go in and update uh, all the iFlow and then th this will then create the iFlow in our development system or QA system um, and make sure that they are updated uh, at all the time. We so now we can see the updated. We also have options that to specify whether or not we want to deploy these iFlow once we make the changes or if we want to update these automatically once we are importing something to the QA system. I hope you find this uh, interesting and something you want to try out. It takes like 15 minutes to get started with the FGAF DevOps tool. Uh, there's a free 30-day trial that you can just start out and see how it goes uh, and what it can do. And there's obviously a lot more than just this distribution config. But go to vgav.com forward slash DevOps uh, and see what it's able to do and uh, download it. Try it out and see how well it will simplify your uh, CPI development process. Thanks.